my name is Manuel Hesse. We're currently in the Chateau uh, Whistler. And I'm going to show you how to do a fantastic latte today. So, what, like in any other uh, training session as well, what's really, really important is that you're well, very well prepared. Therefore, we've already got um, our underlining and stuff. We've got a few napkins and we've got um, some lovely biscotti here as well as some sugar, which we're going to use later to get it really um, finished. Then as you can see here, um, take that one out. We still got the coffee from before and obviously we don't want to have any bit of that coffee inside. So what we're going to do is we just empty that out. And while we're doing this, we just let water run through here as well. So the last bits of coffee in the machine get out as well. We've got a perfectly clean machine while making a new coffee. So we have a look inside here right now. We see this is also still very, very dirty. So obviously we don't want to offer that to the next guest. What we do here is exactly the same. We just pour hot water over it. Make sure it's all nice and clean. There we are. And that obviously now is a fantastic difference that we have. It's absolutely nice and clean. So, since some of our guests obviously prefer a fantastic decaf latte, we're going to do a decaf today. So therefore, we have a separated decaf cup container right here. Just put some of the decaf coffee right in here. Maybe a little bit more. You just have to be very, very careful. Take about one and a half to two spoons, not two full spoons, a little less than that, otherwise it becomes far too strong and the coffee might not taste as good anymore. Then, in order to separate between latte, uh, between decaf and regular, you've got two of those tiny little pressers. So what you do is you take, of course, the decaf because we've just used decaf coffee. You press that nicely and then it looks uh, picture perfect. Actually, you've got a nice flat surface. So what you do next is just Put it in here, make sure you get that done very, very quickly because if the coffee stays in there for far too long, the coffee will burn, it's not gonna taste that well anymore. Just let the coffee run through. Um, what I do this first is, um, just as a preference, some of our guests love the coffee very, very hot. I would probably do the milk first. Some of our guests love the coffee medium heat to very, uh, too nicely hot. Then I obviously do the milk first and then the coffee. So we're doing the coffee now, I'm just going to keep an eye on the coffee because I don't want to have too much coffee inside. After all, it's a latte, right? That's the name in price, more milk than coffee. So keep an eye there, then just a little bit more. So would you um, say maybe quarter of the cup? Yeah, probably, probably even a little, a little less, maybe one fifth. I'm going to show it up to you in just one second. So what we've got right here now is, so this is basically the entire cup that we're going to fill and this is the only amount of coffee that we actually have in there. If we have too much coffee in there, it's going to be too bitter and um, people might mistake it actually for a cappuccino. We don't want a cappuccino, we want a latte right now. So I'm just going to put this cup on the side for the time being and now we're going to focus on the milk. Milk is um, a very, very tricky one. Um, if it's too hot, it's burned. If it's too cold, you don't get enough froth to actually make the latte. So what we're going to do is now, the most important bit is when you put the milk, um, and the nostril in the milk, that the nostril is just literally touching the surface of the milk, otherwise you don't get a proper froth. But we want to have a nice froth, we want to make a nice latte. So let's just do that. Um. So you might have noticed that I had my tiny finger right here um, at the pot and that gives me an indication when the milk is ready, when I'm ready to actually take the milk um, out and when I have to stop uh, boiling it because if I cannot hold it like that anymore then it's far too hot. If I can hold it like that it's absolutely perfect, however I have to wait for about 10 seconds because it's getting very, very warm now. So I'm going to leave the milk on the side now as well and come over here and now we have a look. So, as you can see, the uh, milk is actually very, very nice and silky, and that's what you want to have. You still have a few bubbles on top of that, but we're going to leave that for one or two seconds on the side. So it can nice settle down a little bit. You've got all the um, still liquid milk at the bottom, and you've got the froth sitting nicely at the top. Um, however, what you want to do is you want to combine now the coffee with the milk as well as the froth. This is where um, many mistakes are made. What you have to do is before you actually pour the milk inside the coffee, you just give it a nice twirl so it becomes really really nice velvety silky color 
you get rid of most of the bottle bubbles as well. So, fantastic. And it looks absolutely wonderful that we have right here. Nice silky color, absolutely great milk. What we do now is we just pour that nicely in here and you'll see there's a fantastic combination. You can even, if you're very, very creative, you can start even drawing things on top <laughs> uh, if you like. And then what we do is coffee cup goes right here. Fantastic, we give us a little bit of sugar right here. And then we take one of the biscottis as well, put it down, down, spoon down, and here we've got the perfect latte. Right. You're of course the judge of it now, you can tell me if that's good or not. <laughs>